Welcome back everyone. Continuing from my last video, we will create a light box from an SVG file. And it's pretty straightforward and I'll go through all the steps. So first thing we're going to do is actually get a, an SVG and we're going to go through the same steps that we've done on a bunch of other videos. We're going to find an image. So we're going to use this bullet bill. We'll right click, save the image. From here, we're going to go to vectorizer.ai. This website's good for simple graphics um, and everything will be free within beta. At some point, this will uh, go out of beta, so we'll come up with another solution. Uh, but for right now, we can still use this. So we're just going to take that file, drop it in. All right, so that looks good. So we'll just download this. Won't make any changes, download. And from here, we're going to drop this into our slicer. All right, so let's shrink this down a bit. And since we are adding um, a light to this, we'll make some adjustments to uh, the actual size and scale, but let's make some other adjustments first. So the first thing, if you can see it, uh, this actually has a full outline, this rectangular shape. We're going to remove that from the image. So we're gonna right click, we're going to split this into objects. We'll click out and then click back in. I'm gonna grab the outer edge and then this whole section we can take out. All right, so we can say bye-bye to that. And now we have to recombine all of this. So we'll hold shift, click on the outside, drag over till everything is selected. And then we'll right click and we'll assemble. All right, so I'm gonna take my calipers and I'm gonna measure out these lights. Right now I have light bulbs um, rather than like LED light strips. So we'll measure that out and then we'll make some adjustments to the actual scale. All right, so right now the height of the bulb will be 120 and that's going to be in our Y. So we'll make an adjustment there, 120. Actually, let's go a little higher. We'll do 125. And we'll leave uniform scale on. And our size, we'll make some adjustments here. All right, so that should look good. And the height of this, this will be the depth is 60. So we'll make that 65. Let's go back, turn off uniform scale when you're making adjustments to that Z height. So 65. All right, good. Now, before we start painting, just know that if you paint this um, and then perform a cut, it'll erase all the, uh, the painting you've done. So make the cut first. All right, so let us go into our cut tool. So we get the C key or we can just uh, basically go to cut up at the top. We will add connectors. And typically I like using the dowels versus the plugs. The plugs are built into the model uh, and the dowels you can print separately and you can make adjustments accordingly. Uh, now, since this is actually a model that's 65 uh, millimeters in the Z height, I set this over to 30. So we're going to add some of these in. We're going to put this into spots. We can adjust these if we need to. All right. And if you end up going out of the model, you'll get an error message here. So just keep that in mind. All right, so I'm probably gonna put the light at the bottom uh, on, I guess, either side. So we won't put any pegs there, but we can do it here and here. 
and the way that this will go I'll scroll up this will go down uh, 30 uh, into the top model 30 down and we will make a slight adjustment to the tolerance I'll just do a 0.2 and if we need to print the pegs a little bit different, we can do that. All right, so we will confirm these connectors and then we will perform the cut. So essentially we have all of these pegs that we can print later. Let's get them out of the way for a moment. All right, so we have these two halves. And since we do have these two halves, we're actually going to paint so this side we can paint, this one we would have to flip. So let's flip this. And you have a choice in here. You can just have a solid um, color on one side and have the other side painted, or you can paint both sides, it's up to you. Uh, but in this case, we are going to paint both sides. So let's, just because this is a bullet bill and it's actually supposed to be black initially, we will make this black on both of these. So I just right clicked and changed the entire model to a black filament. And then when we paint it, we'll actually start to see uh, the outlines. And just like from my last video, if we were to slice this, you will not see any of the, uh, the indents for the actual image. So you have to paint it in order to bring it out. All right, so this is a simple model, just black and white. So we will paint this, we'll use the fill bucket. All right, so that should be white white, white. All right, nice and simple. And we will do the same thing over here. All right, here. All right, that looks good as well. And we wanna make sure that we get some texture on this. So we're gonna flip this onto the bottom. So always make sure the whole side is facing up. So flip, flip. All right, so we have just sort of painted ourselves into a corner. So you might ask yourself, well, if we slice this, how are we gonna put a light in this? because this entire model is solid. And since the model will be solid, we have to hollow this out. And the easiest way to hollow that out, we can go into global or objects process, um, but right now global is fine since we're gonna apply this to both of the, um, the halves. So we're actually going to knock down the top layer, which is this top layer here, and we're gonna knock that down to zero. And when we knock that down to zero, it actually will just show us the info, like so. So of course we have to remove the info. All right, so go back to prepare and infill also will be set to zero. All right, so what you're seeing right here, which I know it's probably hard to see right now, since it's dark, but we have all of the holes for our pegs and it's only just going to paint the very first uh, set of layers. And those first set of layers are, so one, and about two to three layers before going up to the other one. Now, another thing that we can do, since we only really want light escaping through the white sections, we can add some more walls to this. So we're gonna to go to wall loops and let's add, let's add five wall loops. All right. So that actually should be all right. Let's check the other half. So open up a new plate, slide that over. We're also going to take out these. We'll paint those separately. We'll paint, print those separately. It's late right now. 
slice our plate and we'll take a look at this one. All right, so that will work out as well. All right, so we will print this and I will see you on the other side. Okay, so for this project, we're actually going to use some transparent filament. And this is pretty much just a no-name brand from Amazon, nothing fancy. And some Elgoo black filament. But again, any filament should be fine. I typically like using the transparent one is for these types of uh, builds. You can use just regular white, just don't make your walls too thick. Okay, so time for assembly. So what I've done is I've actually created a few different dowels. I printed a full-sized one. And in this case, this is the 100% dowel. And it can be uh, pushed in, but it's a press fit and I would have to force it. So what I've done is I've created some smaller pegs. So this one is at a 99% and still kind of snug. So I created a 98% and this one actually goes in pretty easily. I just tested on each of these. And on this, we're gonna take, this is a full 98, goes right in. Now I don't need the entire length, so I printed out smaller ones. So assembly is as follows. So let's push these aside, grab all of these. And in, in, Now, of course, if you have LED lights, you can line this properly. Since I just have the light bulb today, we're using that one. So just make sure that's in. And of course, our adjoining piece. So I'm just going to place this in, nothing fancy. So I can put it in this way or this way. And we can just close it up. Cool. I didn't glue it down or anything, so it's, it's rattling on the inside. All right, so let's see how this looks. And I like this light bulb because it has a remote. So if I were to shut off the lights, power this on, we have our lighted bullet bill. And of course you can tape up the seams here uh, with something black. And since we made the walls a little bit thicker, we shouldn't have too much in the way of light bleed on the actual uh, model. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and thank you.